Welcome everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we're going to be making something called Buildables. I just came up with that very fancy name. Okay, didn't know what else to call them, but basically it's a modified cluster and it's a little slower to make, but it kind of uses things differently. So let's just, we'll do like a, this is an example of a, what we, we tend to call clusters. I think Jessica Rapp probably coined the term, but basically she would take different bits and pieces of whether it's scraps or pictures or something and just staple them together or adhere them together with one quick, easy punch, which was very smart, efficient, useful, because we can use these for accents in junk journals, on embellishments, or on pages. You can just glue that there or in the center or put it on a bookmark or whatever you like. It's a quick, easy thing to do. But um, Okay, I'm going to take a slower approach. And um, so I've got a bunch of things that I've pre-punched out over the years. And let's just say the little thing is building up a little bit. So I thought I would just take, let's take this clump. Here's a clump of just punched out things, little little things, little tiny things. And I also have, uh, this one is called my words bucket. This is kind of like words and numbers just jumbled. You don't, I don't even know what's in here, honestly. It's just stuff. So we're going to pull out some of that. Put it over here. So sometimes when you just have some stuff, you can make buildables. And buildables are little things that you create upon themselves. So let me uh, zoom in here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Right, right location here. Okay. And I'm going to use a glue stick to do this. So maybe I'm going to start. This was a, um, a field guide. I punched out a birdie picture. And I thought that was kind of cute. And you can ink or not ink. And maybe I'll just show you the, get my brown dauber, where are you? Here. Maybe an inked version, because I think it'll be a little bit more impactful if we ink the pieces. Um, so maybe you just want to take a bunch of little pieces, ink them up. And then what the idea is to grow, a, a not a page, but maybe like a, a bigger thing. I don't know what we exactly would call it. This is actually a sticker, but I'm not going to take the sticker backing off. I'm just going to ink it. And I'm just going to start collaging together with no background these pieces. So let me just get some glue on here. This is, this is anybody can do this. This isn't rocket science, but it's a way to use up all those pretty little things that you just don't quite know their purpose, how you're going to use them. Um, and th the idea is to layer upon themselves and start the thing growing. Okay, so I'm going to take random things. Here's a little leaf punched out at some point. Um, and you may or you may not have this. And you can also do this. It, they don't have to be pre-designed things like these punch things. You could actually just use torn pieces of paper and do the same thing. So stick that there. So that's going to come. That's kind of cute already, right? We don't even know what this is. But uh, I'll show you different ways that you can use these. Okay, and you can also layer in the back. It doesn't always have to be in the front. It can be in the back. So let's do that. Let's put a little glue on the back side here. Nothing wrong with a little glue on your back side. Sometimes you need a little glue on your back side. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I got that. And only you know when you're done. Okay, you can keep going with these. You can put it on the main piece. You can keep adding it and grow out this way. I'll add this to the main piece. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. No rules in the junk journal world. Um, I'm going to put that there because I think it'll show best so far. Okay. And maybe that's as far as I'm going to go with this one. Okay, so let's make another one. I'll just put that over here in the Dunsies. Okay. And, um, okay, so some kind of base. Let's use, we'll just use some, I got another birdie here. We'll just keep going with the bird thing. And I'm um, going to ink around just to give it a little definition again. We'll do something a little bit different this time. Because we're here, we're playing together with the papers and all is well. Okay, so maybe we have this. This was just coffee dyed paper that I just paper punched some stuff out of. And yes, yes, I will ink that one. Give it a little bit more look to it. Now we're going to start from the back. Okay, so I'm going to get a little clearing area here where I can get my craft mat nice and glowy for you. There's that paper. And there's really no right or wrong place to put it. No, in there on a weird angle. I don't know. Does that look good? Sure, why not? And uh, maybe we're going to do something different. Like we're going to, here's a word that says journal. All right, so maybe I'm going to put that across here. 
or I could put it across here. That looks kind of cute right there. That's where I'm going to put it. Okay, so I'm going to start building. And these are all going to come out different, but this is a great way to use up all those little bits and bops. Okay, so now we have that. And, okay, so I've got some words. I want to keep going here. Maybe I'm going to put this here. Oh, that's pretty. I do like that. Okay, let me actually just glue this. Just where I think I need the glue. So basically, because these things are going to grow in different directions, one staple might not cut it the way it would in a normal cluster. So these are buildables. So you can build above and beyond where you were on the original page. I have no, that made no sense, but you know what I mean. It just grows in different directions, different angles. Okay, so let's, let's, let's push the envelope on this one a little bit. Let's go a little closer so you can see what's going on. Okay, here's a pretty little piece. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to do that. That's nice. Yeah, I want, I want a lot of that to show. And I always manage to get glue all over everything because that's my bane of existence in life, to get glue all over everything. And the, the little trick here, I think, to make it visually pretty, for some reason, is the overlapping of several items. Now, you can also put an isolated item as a counterbalance. Again, not knowing what I'm talking about here. But the overlapping, that's like a design trick. So when you cap things touch, it somehow unifies them. That there, that's kind of pretty. That kind of plays off of that. So you can do that. You can, you can play off of things. Now you, you're, you're witnessing Pam playing off of the pink over there. Okay. I'm just going to keep building something here. Maybe not to unify the points, but pull them apart a little bit. Give a little space, a little growth. I don't know. It, it might be a thing. And um, you can come in, like, in the middle of everything and just slap something bizarre down, like a little piece of dried botanical just for fun. Okay. Okay, this is getting entirely too much fun. Okay, I just want you to know the fun factor here is huge. Okay, we're talking mega huge because it's random. It's free flow thought. It's easy. Anybody can do it. And you're using up your old stuff. You've had sitting around. Who are we kidding? Sitting around for years. My glue is not happy with me. It's coming again. Yet again. Why? Why glue? Why? Maybe my glue is getting old. You know, I did buy a lot of it at once. And maybe it's just like had, it's had it with me. Now, when I poured it in here, it was smooth flowing. I think there's some kind of, it's, it's getting exposed to air. All right, fine. I'm just going to, we're going to the, that's no, not going to work. Okay, it's going to come apart. Okay, gentle bit. Oh, yep, there, broke it. <laughs> that didn't take long. Well, maybe we can just glue. Oh, I've got three of them off now. That's, oh, four. Who are we counting? Who's counting? Okay. Let's see who actually sticks. I'm just going to glue these on and see what happens. Come back. We have the power, the glue. Okay, get on there. No, oh, no. Oh. We have no power. And no glue today. Okay, just get some glue on there. It won't come off my finger. That's the, the issue. You may have experienced this in your crafting at some point. All right, down. Are you down? Okay, but two more. Oh, lost it. Yeah, this happens. See, it's better to actually put the glue on and then put the little weird thing on top of it. That's where did I get, where'd that come from? I got another one. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again with the other li liquid glue. It might be easier. I can get a squeaky little drop out. Okay. Put that down. Got one on the finger. Trying to loosen it from its home. On my finger. <laughs> and now we're going to glue it down. Okay. There. I got one more. All right. We're just going to take it home. This baby's going to go here. I can feel good about using all those up. Tack it down with that glue. And then, boop. Oh, come on, just stick. So I was hoping that the sheer strength of the fabric fix. All right, you don't even want to play today, do you? No, nope, you're just, I'm going to chase this one leaf around for an hour, but by golly, I'm going to get it on there. There we go. And you can put a little Mod Podge over that if you're all concerned it's going to break apart. But, in the grand scheme of things, you're building something sort of cool and pretty. So I, I would think I would like to put something on this. Yeah, oh, that would be very nice, yes. Butterfly might be a little big. Oh, what do we got? I want something contrasting. Like that. Oh. That has to be the right thing. I have so many things here to play with. Oh. Um, 
Oh, there's a smaller butterfly, right? Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, but maybe we will we'll brown this one up just a tad because we're here. So, yes. Okay, back to how fun this was before I ran into the leaf disaster there. Um, it really is highly fun. So if you're just sitting there and you're like, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I have no idea what I'm going to do today. Make some buildables. Buildables. Okay, first you've got to be able to say it. It's like your animals. Um, and they don't even have to be in the exact center of the circular thingy. It could be a little off kilter where it's, you go away. Oh, you're kind of cute. I could put you on there too. Oh, that's cute. All right. Oh, oh. See this? These things they want to play. No, I, I didn't even glue you and you're glued. Okay, you want to stay there? I'm not going to argue with you. You can stay right there. There you go. Um, not dead center. A little off center, overflapping onto other other things unifies in my mind okay so now we have two so they go they grow pretty quickly when you're not struggling with the glue and the leaves and then you can just keep going so here's um and and if you don't let's say you don't have really pretty field guide pictures and stuff like that well you could punch out or cut out some circles and do a rubber stamp in the middle it doesn't have to be a picture or anything like that i just want to kind of show you different things that you can do um okay so let's build what are you? You're a little ticket. Okay. 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 So I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna put you here because I already have glue on you. And I have this word. Here's a word. If I could pick it up. Oh, how about noted? It's, I feel like this is from Nick the Booksmith. I just I feel like it's from her. You can try it on for size. It doesn't matter if you cover up half the stuff. It's okay because you can keep building. That's the thing. Just keep telling yourself, this is a buildable, and I'll, I'll stop when I'm done, and not a second before. Okay, we got that. And you'll know when you're done. You'll just say, okay, that's done. Oh, this is kind of pretty. I don't do it like that. It's some kind of label. That's very pretty. Okay. Like I said, there's really no right or wrong. Like, don't overthink it. Just get in there and you stick the stuff down. Just move forward. Don't get stuck. Because you can sit there and, you know what, if you want to sit there and, and, like, decide where the best place is, go ahead. There's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes we get stuck and we, we, get, we don't make progress because we get stuck. So I want you to keep moving. Every one of these is an experiment. Kind of feel it as the experiment. Do some on the front, some on the back. See what it feels like. Um... I'm going to do something on the front of this. There's another bird. Oh, okay. Oh, too many birds. Um, oh, what are you? Oh, you're a leaf. Okay, we could put a leaf on here. Okay, no. So you got to find, you got, it's got, it's got to be your groove. It's got to feel good here. What are you? A pretty little piece of paper. I think we can build you. Yep, we can, we can definitely do that. Build with you. That's what we're doing. We're building, and yeah, okay. Oh, look at you! You are a pretty little tag that I made with a big stamp, and then just masterboarded a bunch of stamps and then cut them up on uh, rubber stamped onto a piece of cardstock, and then just paper punched my way. This was originally a big butterfly. Doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a fully visual butterfly. Okay, maybe this. Yeah, that's good. Coming around the mountain there. I'm gonna put one on top. Okay, see those went behind. This one's going on top. Okay, and we're building, and we're building. Um, pick you up, this little butterfly out of text, book, book text, old little vintage book paper. Maybe an old novel or a dictionary page. Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. All right, okay. Oh, not on the bird head. No, I don't want to cover the bird head. Tilt it a little bit. There we go. So far, so good. Now, you could pull a lot of other elements, and maybe we'll do that in a minute, but we're going to stay right here right now and just keep playing with these. These are kind of fun. Um, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, you know, sometimes when you start doing something, you wonder if it's going to be fun, and then you find out it's, like, more fun than you thought, and then you feel most guilty for having so much fun. <laughs> Not really. No. No. Fun is your birthright. Go forth and embrace your fun. You know, ask yourself, what is the most fun you could have right now? And if it's not illegal or immoral, do it. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know. Um, here we go. But I think that you should be safe here. Okay, wait a minute. Uh huh. Oh, big glue glob. Okay, that's all right. That's kind of cool. All right, and you can keep going. And let's just keep going just for the sake of keeping going. And what else do we have here? Oh, this is an interesting little piece with some leafage. We have a leaf here. There's some uni unification there with the leaf theme going. Bird, leaf, leaf, bird. It's all good, right? A little bit of random glue. We'll just maybe do this one in the back. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be a bigger one. Okay, so you can go big. You can totally go big. Okay. And it's almost like what the bird collected in the center, right? It's like little random bits. You know how birds build nests and they go and grab a bunch of stuff? Well, this could be the beginnings of what this little guy was doing. It's a nice little piece. Maybe I'll just unify you and put you here. Why not? Right? Easy. Easy, easy peasy. All right. There we go. And, and, because you might have an aquarellable Stabilo pencil just at, at the ready. All right. All right. Okay. I might light in more so you can see. Okay. So we could just have some fun with this one. We're not, okay, let's, let's just do, okay, let's glue this little gold leaf down because he's here. And I feel really good using up my stuff. Because sometimes your stuff will be everywhere. And these little accent things, they're fun. Like, so don't forget about these little accent things that you painstakingly punched out one day and forgot you had. Yeah, it's their day. Oh, look, I have one there already. I didn't even know I did that. When did I put that one down? Oop. Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay. So just like little accent. What's this? We can put this on here. I'm sure we can. Okay. Yeah. Kind of trying to put it where maybe two or three things intersect. That's always a fun place to put things. If you don't know where to put it, just put it put it somewhere. Yeah. Here's another butterfly. Very delicate little butterfly. Yeah, but um what we have here. Um I like the white of that. That's good. Maybe here. You know how sometimes it just lands where it's gonna land. You don't you don't know. You're going in blind and it's all your imagination running wild. So you can come in with a stabilo. Aquarellable Stabilo Pencil, you know me. Um, water soluble graphite pencil, number 8046 is the black one. And if you want to just maybe sharpen the margins of some of this to give more distinction, you can. You don't even have to, you can use a regular pencil, you can use a marker. You don't even have to uh, use this thing, but I think I'm just going to go around that butterfly there and just maybe just do some of it. Not I'm not running away, doing every little thing like you see me doing now. I know, I know, but it's fun. So you do what's fun. Okay, that one is loose. Like you just been, are you there? Where are you? Well, stick if you're going to stick for goodness sakes. I did find a Q-tip in my region here close. Very excited because I cleaned my desk a bit. A bit, she said, emphasize. A little bit of water in the hand cup. Q-tip. And just, whoop. And then drop your Q-tip and then just add a little bit of water and just watch the beautiful black focal point bloom that will now occur around those. And you didn't have enough on here to do other stuff. You can do that. You can because it's your stuff. Okay. Right there. A little more there. Okay. This on the shorts. Okay. So. Look at that. That one wasn't even stuck, but it looks like it wants to be part of this. So we're just going to put it in there because it's on my desk. It needs to be used. You need to become something. You cannot sit around here and not be and not be anything. You have to become part of the artwork. Okay, pick yourself up here. Maybe over here. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll just stick you there. All right, so this is a big one. Okay. Now, we have three. Let me just move all this stuff out of the way. So I still have tons of stuff I could just keep making buildables, which is, I will, because <laughs> it's fun. Um, so we have three, and they're somewhat botanical in, oh, you can't see, sorry. They're somewhat botanical in nature, so we're going to add them to this junk journal that we're using. Maybe I can just show you some different ways you can use them. 
Okay, let me back you up here. Okay, there we go. I have to have some room to work. Okay. He's over here for right now. Just clear the deck. Okay, bring in the journal. And then let's open to a random. Oh, look at this page. You just are beckoning something. So you have a couple of small ones and a big mambo. So maybe we'll do the small ones first. And I don't know. These are just so pretty. I mean, just, just don't they look pretty? Okay, so this, I'm just going to turn into a bottom tuck. Very simple application. It doesn't really take rocket science. Here we go. This is the big maneuver. I'm going to glue the bottom. That's it. It's just a bottom tuck. That means I can put something fair size in here. Um, I'm not restricted to size, but something can tuck in there. And if I do have something, I have something here. This is a really cool old handwritten letter from, what is that? 1878, 1828. It's old. So we're going to put that in here. And it has the date on the back. That's kind of cool too. But I do like to show the writing. So very gingerly, I'm going to go back on the folds it has. That seems to have the least damage when you're refolding these, if you want to refold it. And try not to get it in the glue. That's very important. Okay. I'm not in the glue. Not even close. And I will, I will tuck that in better. But right now, that's what that's going to be. Okay, so let's do a different one. That was in the back. Maybe let's go in the front. Oh, here's Paige. And this one, um, I think this one might be like an upper corner tuck. Or it could be a center page one. It could be a bottom corner tuck. Oh, you want to do a bottom corner tuck? I'll do bottom corner tuck. Yeah, yeah, no, I heard you. You're like, bottom corner tuck, Pam, total bottom corner tuck on that one. Okay. So very easy. So if you don't have pockets and tucks or you're looking for ways to use up your little goodies and make them purposeful, uh-huh, you heard that right, purposeful. Okay, I have this. Very pretty little envelope of which I should probably put some fun things in. So what do we have? Maybe I'll put a cluster in there. You can do that. You can put clusters and things in envelopes. It, it doesn't always have to be, and, and it could be anything. It could be totally anything. Like here's a, a piece of um, handmade paper. I'll tuck that in there. And I like to do things in threes. I don't know. It's like a, I, somebody said that was design-ish. So I'm going to, I'm going to. Oh, here we go. Here's a, here's a pink, pink flowers. I'll put those in there. All right, so now I'm going to tuck this in here. And that will be the place for that to stay home. I'm not going to jam it in there too far because you know it's going to get gluey. So I don't want it to get gluey. So that's good. Now somewhere in the middle, we're going to put the next one. And this is a big one. I'm going to fit this for it to fit, first of all. That looks, looks nice. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that could be nice. Oh, look, yep. Oh, we got a we got a counter cluster there. Okay, now this one because it's a little chubbier. You have options. You have options. All these. This could still be a upper corner tuck, lower corner tuck. But I think I'm going to make a belly band out of this. I'm going to be bald and make a belly band out of this. So I just wanted to show you different ways that you can use the same item in different ways. Well put, Pam. Well put. Um, you are only ever limited by your imagination. So when you run out of ideas, come back to YouTube. That's what I do. <laughs> and um, just, just get ideas. You know, you'll be off and running before you know it. Just open your mind. Relax. Okay, so I think I'm going to put something numerical. Um, let's see. These cool pages somebody gave me. They're math questions or something. That's something. I think they're kind of cool. Yeah, well, is this a good one? Taller. Yeah, maybe taller better. Dry measure. Okay, something with math. Pro oh, that would have been scared of this book growing up. I'm like, oh my gosh, all my math. Okay. I'm going to fold it a little bit, and then I'm going to gently slide it into the belly band. Oh, yeah. Everything goes. I got a little bit of glue on it as I was crossing over. There was a glue thread. But there we go. And the little belly band is holding, avoiding getting this stuck into the you know, places. There you go. There is the uh, fun for today. Sunshine, you know, oh, he's, he's entered the room now. Yeah. I think he heard the voice and he knows when mama starts talking that maybe it's time for a pup date. <clears throat> is it time for a pup date? Oh, I was at a moan. Hello everybody. It's sunshine. And yes, yes, it is once again, time for a pup date. Okay. So happenings about Okay, over there, oh, 
Oh, we hear Ronnie next door, the little dog that lives next door. Ronnie is barking about something yet again. Dear Ronnie. Um, well, okay, so Cub Pup Reporter here reporting on duty as expected, on time, with something to say. Okay, so Ronnie is barking next door and Sunshine is not. Mm -hmm. And Sunshine apparently has no ears this morning. We're going to let that slide this morning, Mother. We're not going to give you a hard time about it. We all know Sunshine has ears. Can you please show the ears for verification purposes? Thank, thank you. Okay, so sometimes Sunshine appears as if there's no ears. But rest assured, all is well. Yeah, it's just mom doing her thing. Um, no bunny ears this morning, mom. No bunny ears. No, mom. Mom. Oh. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help it, Sonny. They're so cute. I could play with your ears all day. Okay, so what does mama do first thing when she wakes up sometimes? Okay, mama wakes up rolls over and kisses my ears. <laughs> she really likes my ears. She does. And it's okay because I like when she plays with my ears. <laughs> okay. All right. That's enough reveal. That's it. Okay. Fine. Um, so anyway, um, the bug guy came. What else can I tell you? Um, Amazon guy came. Squirrels ran by. Mom got me new snacks. New healthy snacks for Sunshine. Sunshine eats the weirdest things like like beef lung. Um, you know, weird stuff. But I like it. It's good. It's tasty. I, I, I get very excited about it. Okay, I, I, mom's telling me time, it's time to go. Okay, so anyway, happy crafting. Create with reckless abandon. And we'll see you next time at the Paper Outpost. Sunshine out. <laughs> okay. Well, he's, he's a man with things to do today. What can we tell you? So, oh, I don't think I mentioned, but as you all might know or you might not know, but May is Fundle Special Time. That's right. You get a triple bonus with a surprise gift. So that's four things um, coming at you. If you buy a Fundle in May of 2024, you don't need a code or a coupon. Just go to my Etsy shop buy a fundle. A fundle is a collection of old and interesting papers, um, vintage and antique book pages, checks, receipts, postcards, antique ledger, black and white photos, tea cards, and so much more. 100 plus pieces, free priority mail shipping. You'll get automatically an authentic skeleton key, a vintage milk bottle topper, a vintage apothecary label, and a surprise gift. And here's the website, if you, um, the URL, if you need it, if you can't find the drop down description box below. Uh, but if you can't, there's a link there. And Happy crafting. So I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. It comes out uh, monthly. And um, there's a free digital image, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, and a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page. That's all in the freebie section at the bottom. There's a new digital image that you can um, uh, save and then use in your artwork any way you like every month. And uh, I have a, my videos. <laughs> my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays if everything and the, all the planets are aligned. Um, I do make my, my videos ahead of time, but sometimes they don't, they take forever to upload sometimes. So I'm actually making this video a couple days ahead so it can have a long upload time. So I, I am working on that. I just want you to know that, that I, um, uh, I'm doing my best to get them up at the seven o'clock time period. Um, sometimes it goes for weeks or months and there's no problem. Then all of a sudden there'll be this big slowdown. So don't know exactly why, but here we are. And I have an Etsy shop where you can find journals and fundles and kits and bundles. I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. I have a t-shirt shop if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon and everything is a craft supply without using, without, everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. Get the line straight. Um, on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip to mug tote, or water bottle, they make great gifts for yourself, for family, or friends, or fellow crafters. And you can find me on all the social media. Come and join our Facebook group. Remember, fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. Everybody, see you next time. Bye.